So I pretty much put up the review for my studio series uh, 102 Optimus Prime and the end result uh, was not pleasant. And I'm gonna put up the full review on uh, my membership because I wanna see you my unedited review because this is the best thing I'm gonna put up. If Hasbro ain't gonna fucking put up a actual good product that they literally copy from actual good toys like the Studio Series 38 and the so-so movie masterpiece 12 and and including into engineering into this then why should I put any effort into making this review as a actual fucking video I mean just take a look at the off mode like yes the uh, overall the uh, well the truck grill what it's supposed to be well pretty decent it looks neat but uh, keep in mind the back back the back looks horrendous in off mode and of course they literally just used blue plastic not and painted over not just on the back here where they literally painted here but they also painted on the well skirt area where you see blue and of course as you can see it already began to ship off like for real and of course they use this gas tanks that there's this one is literally like if this one is supposed to be the Siege Optimus Prime, then this is the Earthrise Optimus Prime, but worse. And let's not fucking forget about the leg articulation, which, yes, the outward movement is pretty neat. However, they are using this kind of, uh, well, Gundam shifting leg motion, but doing it in completely wrong because there is nothing to literally do in engineering where it moves back. Because now it just moves more forward instead of going backwards. This is <clears throat> fucking hell. And then we have the shoulder piece where, of course, we also have, well, if we fucking untransform this. Of course, the most unsatisfying fucking transformation is with the mushroom peg joint, which is having troublesome. But uh, yeah, when you have the head, if we take a look, it is completely a fucking tiny. I I'm not gonna fucking put any effort. I mean, look at this. Look, 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 look. Here's the regular Optimus Prime head. But just if we take a look, so, ah, just take a look. This is the Optimus Prime head, which yes, is a concept up, but it's actually very proportioned. And take a look at this. This is a fucking joke. They took the MPM-12 head and they shrunk it too little. This is just fucking puny. And what's worse is when you have the Commander Cybertron, which is a fourth party figure from by Bayway, that is elementary up to this prime. It is even tinier than this one. How the fuck did you fuck this up? And let's not forget about the shoulder joints, which, yeah. The outward movement is horrendous. The awful hot rod shoulders return here. And I'm gonna be honest, I will agree with Perspective End on this one. This come here. This is a pathetic move. Because when you have the backpack, it's all it's out of the way. And anything you you cannot make it having a hug. So what is even the fucking point of having and shoulder joints when you're designing it completely are not fucked. You could have easily have a double hinge joints, but well, there's a hinge here and then a hinge inside. Yes, the this would actually have a cut, but at least it would have functioned very well. Because you have also this prime that did it better. And it's also a fucking studio series figure. And it's a concept up. And they literally use this design for the base mold of Robert's the rise of the beast mode so there is no point of having well this because there is no because this just the, there is no articulation because if you move have it this way you cannot even do upward movement because you know why because um, when you have something that isn't 9 degrees what is even important of having this shift Upward to give you a hug when this is only the joint. 
is completely fucked. And you know what's also called kind of funny is that we have the the light gray gun, which everyone is kind of complaining, but I don't care because this gun sucks. And of course, the sword. I mean, it's neat, unless un, until you realize it's blue plastic painted over with gunmetal silver. This will ship over. And yes, I did do a little bit cut here, if I focus here. There's a cut that I made here, just to showcase how much they kind of... Uh, you see these uh, silver cuts here. That wasn't me. The middle one was me, but these other ones on the side, that was all completely out of the box. And when I literally saw how much they kind of shave, I just realized over time this will literally ship off and it will look so horrendous. Why did you paint over blue plastic instead of just regular grey? I mean, you literally have light grey for the gun. Why not light grey for the fucking sword? So, no, don't buy it. For 50 bucks or... And it's, no, don't buy it. It's sold out because also scalpers literally have it. And honestly, wait for the Bayway version of the 102 Optimus Prime. That would be more worth than having this fucking... Well, cash grab piece of garbage. Do not buy this. No, don't, 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 don't. Buy the main nine Optimus Prime because perspective end is right on this one. Do not buy the Studio Series 102. It will infuriate you if you are actually a guy with common sense. <sighs> and I'm gonna put this uh, whole review, well, the other review I was literally filming the uncut version on my membership so if you want to see it well join my mom membership if you want to see that one and see me just throw it on the wall because <laughs> I literally I, I don't care at this point this actually makes me happier more to see it just fucking crumble to pieces and honestly once I fucking super glue back the tire I'm gonna fucking sell this off and literally sell it for 20 bucks because I don't give a fuck at, the, at this point because only the tire is broken, the rest is still intact. Anyway, like, comment, and subscribe.